If you Google FAA airspace approval map, you will want to click on the first search result for UAS facility maps. Once on this page, you will click on the first link under Quick Links, which should say something like, View all UAS facility maps and grids. It will then bring up a warning box that you are leaving the FAA's website. Click to agree, and it will take you to a map of the United States. If you zoom in on this map far enough, it will pull up grids that are placed over each airport. We will zoom into Cincinnati International Airport, which I'm familiar with. Notice that each grid has a number, usually either 400 or 0. This number indicates whether you can get instant approval through the Lance system. If you click on any square within the grid, it will bring up additional information about that area. Just know that if you need approval in a square that says 0, you will have to go through the FAA's Drone Zone portal to do so. With that said, my choice of app for getting approval through the Lance system is AirMap. It is simple and it just works. Here's what it looks like. Once you open the map, it will zoom to your location and then you can click anywhere on the map to indicate where you will be flying. You will choose your radius using a slider bar and you can choose the rules under which you will be flying. For our purposes, we will obviously choose part 107 and click next. The next page allows you to choose your altitude, the time, the date and length of your flight, the pilot and drone information, both of which can be preloaded, and a myriad of other questions to ensure that you are in compliance with part 107. So you will choose your aircraft and then answer each question accurately. Then you're going to scroll down to the bottom and click next. The final page is just a confirmation page and it provides you with accurate weather in your location as well as information regarding the rules you should be following. Once you hit the submit flight button, it will return you to the map and you will get a confirmation text showing you an approval number. Another thing to note here is that the brown line on the right hand side of the map corresponds with the grid map that we looked at earlier. If my desired flight location was in this brown area, I would not be able to get permission using the Lance system. Finally, you can also see the approval number from the FAA from within the app, as well as any advisories for your given flight. AirMap is doing a really great job with this app, as it even has the capability to allow you to control your drone from within the app. When you're finished, you simply click End Flight, and you're done. The Lance system will be completely rolled out by the end of 2018, and the process I just outlined should be available for most major airports by then. Obviously, this is an ongoing process, and every airport will not be participating right out of the gate. That said, I believe the number of airports involved will continue to grow as the system becomes more mature. The FAA's website has a list of airports that are participating, and this should be updated as new airports are added.